The COVID-19 pandemic challenges our health, our economy, and our mental well-being. When the virus first hit in early 2020, medical concerns took center stage. Social distancing and lockdown measures were enacted, and policies had to be found to minimize the economic damage. Good data are essential for deciding on the best policy, and both epidemiologists and economists devised ways of tracking the state of the pandemic and of the economy in real time. But what about the impact of the crisis on mental health and general social and psychological stress in the population? Some claimed that lockdowns would lead to massive increases in depression, domestic violence and suicides. Others predicted the opposite that such measures would rather have calming effects on the population. On these issues, good real-time data were completely lacking, so mental health was largely out of the picture. We decided to gather information from helplines, organizations that lend an ear free of charge to anybody who needs to talk. People who call helplines reveal that they are distressed so the total number of helpline calls in a country is a measure of what we call revealed anxiety. We discovered that helplines are well organized, have excellent data and are prepared to support academic research. Marius will now tell you what we found. Thanks, Raphael. We started with a pilot study on helpline data from the Swiss helpline La Main Tendue back in spring 2020. Later, we discovered that two young researchers from the University of Freiburg, Valentin Klotzbücher and Stefanie Reich, had had the same idea and done a similar study on their country, Germany. So we decided to join forces and ended up collecting data from 23 helplines in 19 different countries. The data cover a total of 8 million individual helpline calls. What did we find? We found that more people called helplines after the pandemic hit. Helplines recorded about one third higher call volumes after the outbreak. And the peak in helpline traffic occurred some six weeks after the start of lockdowns, after which volumes went down again. Most of the additional helpline calls were due to concerns directly with the pandemic itself. People were afraid of getting infected and sick and many were lonely. However, the share of the most severe worries, things such as domestic violence, addiction and suicidality, went down. This is true not just for the first COVID-19 wave, when all was new and morale was strong, but also in subsequent waves, and this despite COVID fatigue. Our interpretation of these findings is that, on the whole, the pandemic did not worsen underlying mental health issues, but overlaid them with other concerns, mainly related to health worries and loneliness. So how about government policy in all this? In one sentence, we found that lockdowns increased suicide-related helpline calls, but more generous economic support offset this effect. Financial aid to workers and businesses, therefore, has a kind of double dividend. Not only does it keep the economy afloat, it also contributes to protecting the mental health of the affected population. Helpline data hold many other interesting insights. Read all about them in our paper, just published by the journal Nature. <laughs>